I'll admit, I'm late on the athleisure train. Although I love trying out new active wear for my workouts it's part of my job as the fashion editor for Shape as a Fashion devotee. I worry that it'll appear frumpy in spandex or athletic sneakers outside of the gym, and especially during the work week. But considering I'm lucky enough to work in an office that embraces an athleisure dress code, I decided it was about time I jump on board, in the most extreme way possible, by challenging myself to a week of wearing exclusively spandex work attire. Related active wear you can legit wear to the office luckily, Fitbox, a quarterly subscription service that delivers curated, premium active wear to your door, agreed to help me with the task at hand, sending pre-made outfits that I could personalize with my own trendy go-to pieces. Here's how I fared Monday through Friday for my week of dressing down. Monday me look an NSF sweatshirt, onzy leggings, new balance sneakers worn throughout me day this was the first day of the challenge and I was a little uneasy showing up on a Monday in such a casual look. I worried it feel overly exposed or viewed as lazy and expected stares of disapproval, but instead I received compliments, a lot of them. The reflective leggings were especially a hit. Post-work, I had no problem walking the three miles home and enjoying this sunset because yes, I was that comfy. Make it work for you if you can't rock a sweatshirt to work. Pair the flashy leggings with a simple black sweater that covers your backside. Tuesday me look shape act of wear tank. Vimeo leggings, satch and babby jacket. Adidas sneakers me day I started the day in a meeting and decided on an all black look that felt dressy enough with a fun look at me pink running tank. I actually looked a fish appropriate from the waist up but found myself hiding my sneakers under the table. Post-meeting, I cheated a little bit, and decided to change into black flats and felt much more put together. Make it work for you pair the dark leggings with a voluminous top that comes mid-thigh length. Flowy tunics a boyfriend-style blazes work best. Wednesday me look volley bra and leggings set, boohoo jacket, state of escape bag me day I felt much bolder this day and went for a flashier patterned look. It took me less than five minutes to get dressed, which made my morning incredibly relaxed. The statement mesh panels felt a little too sexy for the office, so I threw on a bomber jacket that I could zip up. After work, I wore the look out for dinner with friends and a few asked what workout class one had come from. When I announced that I was now dressing for comfort and actually wore the get-up to work, they were in disbelief and slightly concerned about my professionalism. Oh well make it work for you I know the majority of us can't wear a crop top to work even I was pushing my luck and in the fashion editor for a fitness magazine instead, rock this shirt with a high-waisted skirt and a cropped jacket layered over. Thursday me look Varley sweatshirt and leggings me day this was one of my favorite looks because it felt closest to real clothes, the sweater was surprisingly detailed with statement zippers and a high collar, which made me feel more dressed up than I had all week. After work, I swapped the sweatshirt for a tank and went straight for a run, which felt really efficient, make it work for you this sweater is an appropriate length for an office environment, but the leggings are on. The flashy side. Downplay the busy pattern by swapping out the sneakers and tucking these into beige or brown ankle boots. Friday fart I wore Vali bra, onzi tank top, Bahar East skirt, chrome at jacket me day I wore the top portion of this outfit with black leggings during the day and felt completely appropriate for a casual Friday in the office. The jacket pulled the look together and felt closest to my everyday outfits. Post-work, I met my friends out for happy hour and threw on a stretchy skirt, complete with an elastic waistband. Sure, I felt a little strange being at a bar in running sneakers at first, but I was crazy comfortable despite having been on my feet all day and even racked up some compliments. Related celeb stylist Monica Rose shares her athleisure styling secrets make it work for you if you are not comfortable with a thigh-high slit, swap the skirt for flattering skinny jeans for a look that still says sporty kick. The takeaway overall, dressing for comfort was a positive experience. The pre-made outfits from Fitbox took a lot of thinking out of it and still let me add some of my own touches from my own wardrobe. Sticking to this routine made my mornings so much easier I really appreciated the extra sleep and I can't say I missed having to schlep around an extra bag with my workout clothes and sneakers. Although wearing leggings felt inappropriate at times, I noticed that was mostly in my own head, and rarely felt as if others were judging me besides my friends at dinner. While I won't be wearing running sneakers to the office daily, I still like dressing up, too. It's safe to say athleisure will most definitely be working its way into my work wardrobe.